welcome to my youtube channel today we are at, uh, our topic of discussion is steps to avoid being scammed when buying a parcel of land i'm a licensed surveyor and i'm giving financial advice on uh, precautions that you're supposed to to take when buying a parcel of land since our motive is to give you financial advice so that we may boost the financial literacy in the community with the theme of one day being successful when everybody attains their financial freedom. So, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, head to YouTube browser, type uh, as one word, at sign financial literacy class 101. Thank you. Let us dig in. So, the step number one to avoid being scammed, verify the ownership. This is the, this, this the, the hire a surveyor who will take you through the process of confirming uh, how le the legitimate owner of the land. And the way to confirm the legitimate owner of, of the land is get, getting a copy I, of, of a copy of the title deed and, uh, the, and you confirm from Ministry of Land. That is uh, called a land search. A surveyor, a legit surveyor will take you through. Through. Thank you. So the other step number two. Step number two is conduct a land search. What is this land search? Land search is a verification that is done. You give me a copy of the ID. Then it is taken to ministry. Uh, copy of the title deed. Then it is taken to the to the ministry of land. Then, upon approval, the land registrar will assign, will give you a land search document authenticating that this parcel of land is owned by this person, and the parcel is open for for it is open for for it is open for sales or for exchange or for for change of views. Otherwise, they will give you the status quo of the land. Remember, these days in the Ministry of Land, we have a digital record. And this digital record, the, the person who can, who officially is acknowledged by the court to give you the, uh, information about is a land registrar. You can never access a land registrar. Is you hire a surveyor who will take you through that journey. Then it is important to conduct a land search so that we confirm if the land has a, has a loan, if it is has a dispute, or if, if it has pending cases. You meet some parcel of land have a pending case, but the own person selling you they have the document. So the way out to be able to 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 confirm is you conduct a land search. Get it? Another thing, importance of conducting a land search. Should you conduct a land search? And it has the 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 stamp and the sign of the land registrar. Then that land uh, that land after you've paid, you, it, 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 you find it has issues. It has issues of maybe a load, a pending issue, or it is not authentic. You have a right to sue the Ministry of Land because they are the one who misled you. Remember, anytime you go to the to the court and you have con and you are complaining that uh, your land is not uh, you you have the, you have a, uh, you have a fake a, a fake ID or any issue about your land, the judge will ask you, do you have authentication document that confirm that land that land was authentic? A document from Ministry of Land, which is land research, that has been signed signed by uh, a land registrar who is also a licensed surveyor. So. That is information, take it home. There, yeah, step number three, inspect the land. Match the details provided in the title deed and uh, the, the, the title deed. You need to confirm the details that are in the title deed and the actual land on the, on the ground is the same. So how do you do this? Sometimes you meet a parcel of land, it, it reads 50 by 100. Uh, once it reaches 50 by 100, a quark will come, they will subdivide it uh, by half. Remember, subdividing is just putting a beacon and some of these because you just put cement and a, and, a, and, and, and a piece of metal. And once they do that, you will meet that they will sell one portion, one portion using the, the, the same title, which is 40 by 80, but they are selling, the, the title deed reads 80 by 80 by 80 feet by 100 feet, but you, since you never did, did your due, due diligence, you will meet, you'll meet two of you have been sold the same piece of land. So it's important you confirm, 
you confirm a legit surveyor will take you through those are details that they cannot joke joke around with because once they joke with that they will end up their license will be cancelled by institute survey of kenya so match the details and the title deed check for if there is illegal settlements so we call it once you you are buying a piece of land ensure umefika ground we call it land rec reconnaissance this is the uh, act of going to the land to the actual ground where the survey or your the affirmation of the details are being done are being done prior 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 buying the land so Sometimes you meet, you buy a parcel of land and it has illegal settlement. Especially now people have been vacated from slums. Those who are settled in riparian land, they, you will meet sometimes once they are, they are, their houses are demolished, they go and settle somewhere. Maybe if, you are, if your parcel was, was empty, they'll come settle in your parcel. Once they settle your parcel, then if you as a buyer comes and buys that land and they've already settled it's a process to unsettle those guys because you cannot just go with them. you cannot just go and chase them you need to give them notice you need to 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 have power uh, to go to have power from the county government you need police you will use a lot of resources before you get that parcel of land and that is why we are telling you ensure you always can do 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 due diligence before buying the, the parcel of land then the other thing is getting a surveyor. Confir a surveyor confirms the boundary and the beacons have been have been set, and the survey work uh, work is precise as demarcated in the in the beacon certificate. So what is this beacon certificate? Beacon certificate is the certificate that confirms that the four beacons that have been set in your land are precise. And they are accurate, and they are, and the same has been recorded in the Ministry of Land. Remember, people are being scammed this way. You meet somebody has a piece of land, they find a quark surveyor who will be able to set the beacons. Once they set the beacons, but those beacons on the on the Ministry of Land digital platform, they, they that land has not been subdivided. So you will meet. You are saying this is my my part, but in the Ministry of Land, they don't have that. That is why you need to hire a licensed surveyor. Once you have a licensed surveyor, they'll be able to, to confirm that the beacons have been demarcated, has been demarcated precisely and the survey works are accurate as documented in the Ministry of Lands. So that is it. So that, 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 that is it. So the other step number five is check out for, from local authority, check things that zoning restrictions and plant development. So you meet some parcel of land, it's a controlled estate. Controlled estate means that the person constructing a house, they can only construct first floor alone because they need, they need to upgrade a certain level of the town to have specific type of buildings. You who never did your due diligence, you have acquired the parcel of land. Yes, you have the title deed, it's legit. But once you when you come constructing, you have a target on maybe you've already picked a loan from the bank. You want to contract to, to construct 10, 10 house to store 10 house stone storage. After constructing you when you are seventh floor, before even you go, you will be stopped and uh, you'll have a case in court and you will you will your funds will diminish and it will be so bad for you. That is why you are told always do 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 due diligence. Confirming confirm if it is a planned, if it is a planned development, whether there are restrictions on on the type of building somebody should construct and the zoning. You meet some a, a zone is high has an a, is is a zone that should, that was an agricultural land. It has been subdivided. Yes, it has been certificate. It has to did. You need to confirm because that agricultural land before you construct, you need to go apply for change of use. And once you consult as as I like person who is let's say who is a who is a surveyor, but still give new financial advice in the effort of ensuring we boost the financial literacy of people i'll be able to 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 console to to to, to assist so use a lawyer what is a lawyer handle transactions handling transactions and sale agreements 
in the aspects that the law says, what the law says. Because there is a like, clause in the uh, land says, once you put a deposit of the land and agree to have completed maybe in six months time, in that six months time, you will not have completed the whole pay payment. You will not be allowed by the owner to start the process of land transfer and you will be refunded 60%. So it's important to, to involve a lawyer once you are signing the, the sales agreement. Because once the sales agreement is approved by a lawyer and anything goes along you have a right to sue that lawyer because they, they they engaged you in a transaction that they had not done due diligence but all these things you don't need to worry once you have a licensed surveyor they have their their lawyer who they work with they have their architects they have their urban planner they have their uh, structural engineer they have their uh, quantity surveyor they all work together that's a, that's they have done networking you only need a surveyor once you have a surveyor, all these other things will, will come along. So, something else that uh, I will emphasize on uh, re restrictions of land, you meet some, sometimes like, uh, like uh, next to JKIA airport. You meet, uh, ne once in, uh, there is a restriction in, the, in people constructing buildings next to the JKIA airport. They, there is a restriction that you can only construct a, a building to second floor. No building can pass second floor. Reason, the, air, the aeroplanes will be landing in the JKIA airports. So they will be flying very low. So you meet sometimes you'll go there without knowledge. You construct your house up to 10th floor. Then then the people who are in charge, maybe, maybe you switch talk them, they allow you. But once a strict minister, once a new policy, once a new government kicks in, they will drop your house. You will always ca come saying that we are attacking, we are attacking your tribe, we are attacking what, but that cannot be allowed because they we cannot we cannot remove the airport because you are, you constructed a building and then and those land near the airport. Yes, they are is your parcel. You are allowed, but it has a restriction. That is why we are saying before you before before you buy a land, ensure you check to the, with the local authorities to confirm the zoning. Then other, another thing is confirming the seller's ID. Seller's ID ensures the seller's ID, the person who says this is my parcel, the seller's ID, what is in the uh, government issued ID card and the title deed, the, uh, the name is the same. That is a, a check, it looks irrelevant, but you need to confirm that. But the brokers will be selling you, they cannot allow you access that. And that is why the process of buying land these days, Lazima, you be bright. Especially now that Kenya, everybody gets a, a large parcel of land, is subdividing it and selling it to you. So, another thing is the payment method. Avoid cash as much as possible transact with the bank the reason you transact with the bank if uh, if a land goes for one million the bank will co will need uh, the sales agreement it will have you will have a trail so uh, such a person such uh, is such that in case of a dispute you can be able to say that i transferred i transferred my cash from this bank account to an, uh, this bank account ensure the trans the bank accounts that the money is moving and where it is being sent the, it is being credit debited and credited they have been documented in a sales agreement and the lawyer has approved that and the surveyor who is in charge will guide you through so thank you for for sticking with me this is a, a class in financial advice we are advising you how the steps to avoid being scammed when buying a parcel of land so for financial advice head to our youtube to youtube browser type as one word start with at sign financial literacy class 101 we have over 500 uploaded videos road to 3k subscribers in a blue theme so our intention is to give you financial advice with a motive that one day you'll attain your financial freedom and we'll all be financially successful especially these hard times that we taxes are high getting to business threshold is is difficult so ensure you subscribe thank you